Hi, Alicia here and we're back at Bass Culture to listen to a talk about the representation of reggae music throughout the ages in film. So, let's go sit down. What we're looking at is a key period in the history of the UK, a key period in film, a key period in black culture. And we're looking at two really important individuals who documented that period in film. One of the things about the Albany at the time was that it was a really lively, buzzing uh, venue for some major South London and I guess North London uh, sound systems like uh, Coxon and uh, especially Jashaka. If one's talking about reggae and one is talking about sound systems and uh, bass culture, um, you know, one wants to just help push it along towards becoming more mainstream and, uh, you know, it's part of that rich tapestry of uh, British culture. It's had such a huge impact on the way we listen to music, the way we play music. Menelik, in terms of Lover's Rock, which story were you, or what story were you attempting to tell? Lover's Rock was a sweet moment in time, um, in that it represented a healing mechanism for young people, or uh, black, the black people in growing up who were having to go through a lot of the pressures of racism, police brutality. Reggae music as a whole was that outpouring of release, but Lover's Rock added the, the sugar, added the spice. Black British talent is the most dynamic in this country. As in terms of music, we're the most dynamic. I think it's about black British talent taking the initiative. That's what we've always done. If you look at our music forms, whether it's reggae, whether it's grime, all the music that we've created has not been validated, has not been given to us. We have taken it. And when we do that, we create abundance. Everything that we do from a passion and a creative form will create abundance. If one takes the cultural appropriation thing uh, to its extreme, um, it actually means that somebody like me can only really write about white 70 year old middle class guys um, and you know I'm passionate about, <laughs> about a load more things than, than that and would like to think that I can make that leap of the imagination into the lives of others. If you don't recognize the culture, you can't see the benefits of investing in that culture. Um, if you don't understand the culture because you're not part of it, you can have the opinion that it's not worthy, it's not important, there is no need, there is no audience. Creativity comes from your passion. And whatever your passion is to do, if your passion is to make a film about, I don't know, whatever comes, you know, whatever you want to make it about, go for it. There's no boundaries in creativity. Well, I feel very educated. We've just listened to an excellent talk about the representation of reggae music throughout the ages. And if you'd like to check out the exhibition, it is on to the end of the month. I think that's a wrap, as they say in film.